Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Teacher Jackie. Today, let us talk about planning a composition using an outline and other graphic organizers. Let's start with the question, what is a composition? Planning a composition. A composition is an intellectual creation such as a piece of writing, for example, poem, song, letter, story, essay, and so much more. It is very important to note that before you are going to write down anything for a composition, you should have a way of brainstorming. Ito yung tinatawag na pagpupour out ng inyong ideas mula dito patungo doon sa papel na inyong pagsusulatan. You're not going to write the composition right away because you might end up erasing things. So, dapat ay may brainstorming tayo na dadaanan. In this brainstorming, some graphic organizers might be very helpful. And today, I am going to show you how these graphic organizers are done. In your modules, you can find the life cycle of frogs. Take a look at how this composition is made. This is an example of a composition, the life cycle of frogs. If you want to write a composition like this, it is very important that you are going to plan. Now, I want you to read this one on your own. You can check it on the module that your teacher has given to you. For a copy of this module, feel free to drop by on the links provided in the description box below. Download for free. Before you can write a very good composition for the life cycle of frogs, it would be helpful for you if you are going to use this type of graphic organizer. This is called a diagram. This type of basic cycle diagram is used to show life processes. So you have to understand that, that a frog would start being an egg and then it will become a larvae and a tadpole and then it becomes an adult frog which will eventually lay eggs. What if your teacher will ask you to compare yesterday and today? Suppose you are going to talk about children's pastime today and yesterday. This type of graphic organizer might be very helpful to you. This is called a Venn diagram. This is used to compare ideas. So, you have to think about the pastime today and yesterday. For today, I will be thinking of computer and mobile games, social media, movies, TV shows, and other films. And then for yesterday, I am very familiar with outdoor games and then those indoor games that we played before and the picnic chit-chatting with my neighbors. So this is a sort of pouring out ideas and this is very helpful if I am going to use these ideas in my composition. Now with those ideas that I have written down in my diagram, I have come up with a composition like this. Children's pastime today and yesterday. Pastime among children have changed a lot. Technology has introduced us different ways of spending our leisure time. The games we play have changed over time. Not so long ago, we had no computers nor cell phones to play with. Children played outdoor games like Patintero, Hide and Seek, Luxong Clinic, and more. They enjoyed Bahay Bahayan, board and card games together. Chit-chatting were done in person and friends go on picnics nearby to relax. With us today, computer and mobile games made us forget of the traditional ones. Children now enjoy playing games like Mobile Legend among many others. Social media has also given us a different way of meeting new people and conversing with friends. Watching movies, TV shows, and a variety of films have been another great ways of enjoying our free time. 
However, despite all these things that we enjoy through technology, it is important to put them in moderation. Going outdoors to play and meet friends in person should go on just like the old times. You just have to remember, use the ideas that you have noted down in the graphic organizer in writing a composition. Now you might say, Teacher, I don't want to draw circles. I don't want another graphic organizer. That's where a simple outlining comes in. Now here is another topic that your teachers will surely be asking you to write about. This is my most unforgettable experience. This time I am going to use outlining. So I will be asking myself for the first paragraph, what is your experience? And then for the second paragraph, I will be asking what makes it unforgettable. Suppose that I am going to talk about me going to Seven Seas Resort. So that is an experience. And then I enjoy the slides and pools with my family. So that is my experience. What makes it unforgettable? So, it was my first time to visit the place with family. We usually do not forget our first time, right? And of course, I celebrated my 12th birthday in Seven Seas. So, I must be very happy back then. So, outlining is used to organize ideas by listing points down. So, in this way, you are organizing your thoughts. With the ideas that I outlined, I came up with a composition like this. My most unforgettable experience. Going to the Seven Seas Resort was an experience I could never forget. I had enjoyed swimming and playing on the slides with my family. The place was very awesome and all I could do was marvel at the most enjoyable place I have been to. It was truly unforgettable for me because aside of going there for the very first time, I also celebrated my 12th birthday on that day. They surprised me by not telling me where we were going. And when we entered the resort, my mom handed me a gift. Inside was a swimsuit with googles and flippers all in blue, my favorite color. My family knew that I would be happy in such a place. So today, you have learned how to plan your composition. You can use different graphic organizers. See you next time and I hope that you will be learning more in my classroom. Goodbye.